Welcome to another video. Now I thought you'd like to see the main rig of mine. So looking at the case, it's a Corsair Spec Delta and I added four ARGB fans controlled by remote control. Now at the heart of this system is a Intel i3 CPU 12100F, so no onboard graphics. So I've obviously added a graphics card. Now that chip is only four cores, but it's got eight threads. And at the time, it was it got really, really good reviews back in 2022 as being a bargain gaming chip. So at the time, really no need to progress up to an i5 unless you had the funds to do it. So that's Intel Socket 1700, which leaves a path through to the i5, i7 and i9 chips. Um, I've got 16 gigs of RAM, so that's two 8 gig sticks, rated at 3200 megahertz speed, but it actually supports, that's DDR4, actually supports DDR5 up to 4 800 megahertz. So there's some scope for advancing this system, if need be, without changing the CPU. So the graphics card is an EVGA superclocked GTX 1070 with 8 gig of VRAM. So it's getting on a bit, but for the use I put it to, it's more than enough. Um, I've got uh, a 500 gig M2 SSD drive, another SSD and a hard drive for storage. So what I'll do is I'll move round the case so you can see the back and then I'll get the side glass panel off so you can see the inside so looking at the back top to bottom from on the left is the motherboard connections to the right is the exhaust fan moving down graphics card and various expansion slots and the power supply sits at the bottom so i've taken the glass side glass panel off and let's have a look inside so i've taken the side panel off this case is really good for cable management and it's nice and tidy in there. Well, I like to think so anyway. So motherboard sits in the usual place of these cases. There's graphics card um, and the uh, fans, intake fans are on the right. Uh, on the top is a vent for extra fans. But it's covered with a dust cover at the moment. The USB ports and headphone and microphone ports power switch are on the on the top. Now at the bottom of the case, um, just offset from the middle on the right is the control box for the fans. Now I'd actually prefer um, them to be controlled by the reset switch, which is the norm in a lot of cases. But these fans work off a remote control, and work very well so the next video i'll start the machine up and run through a few benchmarks if you've got any questions about the system as it stands at the moment just drop me a comment thanks for watching